Hi Leo, this is Tara Queen here to do your weekly uh, New Moon Crescent reading. All right, so welcome to the channel. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and if you want a private reading, the link to my website is in the video description box below. All right, so um, spirits are heavily wanting people to know about cycles and how to respond to energy. Uh, is what I've been seeing a lot in the readings and then also cycles. So right now, if you're feeling a little blocked, Leo, it is because um, you might have an interruption in your flow because right now we're at the, we just passed a new moon and the moon is waxing. So you should be seeing increase. You should have more energy. Okay, so I get the sense that there's something going on. So I'm going to call to the spirits and spirit guides for the Leos. We want to look at this week in general. We'll look at what is the general uh, thing that Leos are dealing with. Show me Leos work. Okay, the full card. Yeah, definite trust issues. Okay, so show me Leos work, Leos health, love life, and money and then the past and the future so this is a very very thorough reading um, so if it doesn't resonate for you Leo's you can go and look at your rising sign you can always get a private reading I also do offer spell work okay uh oh Leo <laughs> I knew it I freaking knew it Oh, wow. All right. And last two cards. Oh, well, that's good. That's promising. You got the shadow side coming up for current now. So I feel as though if things are a little sluggish for you with your health coming up the four of cups, I kind of feel as though you need some inspiration. Um... Let me ask Spirit to give me some clarity on this devil card. Uh, show some kind of unhealthy attachment, some kind of <clears throat> a malignant. Let's just say that typically the shadow side or the devil card can be a malevolent spirit. It can also be where you need to release yourself from bondage. That can be very challenging. Yep. So, Leo, the spirits are really, really trying to uh, get you to feel like the spirits are working on a love reunion for you. But I feel like your partner kind of lacks the determination that is required to get on with you. Or, you know what I'm saying? The high priest comes up representing some kind of spiritual chaos. Spirits, give me some clarity about where this high priest and the shadow side is coming from. The fool and the seven of swords. Bad energy, Leo. You need to do some clearing, clear the air. Um, I feel as though there's some trust issues that are that you're going to be dealing with this week. It could be yourself. It could be trust in yourself. By the way, this is the Witch's Tarot deck, so I hope that you guys like it. I always pay respects to the creator of the deck, and I like to look at the meanings and the, the book. It comes with a huge book. I love this book. <laughs> The shadow side replaces the traditional devil card, which is don't identify with the concept of a devil figure. The shadow side shows what happens when you let fear and panic take over. The card illustrates a couple cringing away from a shadowy and frightening figure. They are alone in a sinister forest. Clearly, their fear is ruling them. <clears throat> 
The clothes of the man and woman are dark and dreary, representing their unhappiness at being in a dark place in their lives. Okay, so this card symbolizes that you are following someone else that you are that you are fault that you're being a follower or you allowing someone else or a situation to have power over you. Okay. Uh, three of cups does kind of represent um the energy of maybe someone trying to inspire you. I feel like there was some kind of maybe reunion recently. Uh <clears throat> I do feel as though they are going to get you through this feel like the Hierophant approves of whatever relationship you're in, but you guys are working through trust issues like a mug because you got the Seven of Swords after the full card. So if there's a malevolent spirits or something, sometimes you do need help driving them away. Um, at work, Leo, you got the Queen of Swords. So I feel like on some level... <clears throat> you're getting some clarity at work, the Queen of Swords. You are not allowing people to, to run over you. Okay, you're starting to discover a lot of things. I'm going to ask her what exactly she wants Leo to know. Four of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So again... I do feel as though you're asserting yourself verbally. Um, now, the Page of Wands comes up, Leo, to let you know all of these, goodness gracious, fire cards. They're talking about your willpower, okay, and what you manifest. And I can also see with the Four of Wands that some of you may... Feel as though this is these are all good cards. All of these are very powerful cards. All of these. Okay, especially with ending with that ace of wands. There's some kind of story that's being told with all of these cards. But I feel as though with your work, I feel as though some of you may have recently acquired um, a new job, possibly. Or it could just represent celebrating at work, uh, manifesting. The Queen of Pentacles comes up, especially if you are a business person. Um, I feel like all of these cards. Now, I will tell you that I do sense that this Queen of Wands is saying lead by example. You know, and also with this Ace of Wands, I feel as though, Leo, you are starting a new cycle. Okay, people may not be responding to it, yeah, and I think people are responding to it. I think the Four of Wands represents um, good things coming with work, okay? Now, your health this week is the Four of Cups. So, again, I, I tell you to drink a lot of water if you're having back pains. Magnesium if you are having, like, muscle twitches. Spirits, give me some clarity on the Four of Cups. Okay, there are certain beings that can cause the deficiencies. Yeah, see that? Told you the moon card. So something has been influencing your personal health. First thing I sense is you're not drinking enough water. Also, vitamin E. I'm seeing a lot of vitamin E in this Nine of Pentacles. I don't know why I'm seeing eggs. So, also the Knight of Swords comes up with the Nine of Pentacles, but then the Moon card comes up. So, again, I feel like you are ending, you were ending some cycles, Leo. You got to end them. Whoever that is, Spirit, give me some clarity on the moon. Yeah, two of cups. So I feel like it has something to do with um, I feel like if, if you're not feeling appreciated, you need to appreciate yourself. Okay, two of cups is all about self 
appreciation. So I feel like this week, that's what you're going to be focusing on. And see, I went through it a few days ago. So, you know, but again, drink water, I'm seeing that you need to drink, drink more water. Okay. You're not drinking enough. It's very hot outside. The sun can be very draining in the summer. Your romance is the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, I have got to put this candle. Leos have got to have a new tea light. Sorry. But I will just yammer on. Ten of Pentacles represents in your romance, in your love life. You do have a good relationship going on. But at the same time, you're you're trying to end some kind of bad cycle in your family. So this is kind of when, you know, a family member might say that you uh, trump them or whatever. A lot of times with that. And so it's it's about, you know, having a complete family. OK, so. But I get the sense when I get to clarifying that we're going to see some, some, some familial disagreements. Where in the heck did my tea lights go? There's one right there. And I will put some oils in it. After I'm done, I just want the fire element. You guys can see that I have all four elements on my table. Earth. This is earth. These are water also, these balls. Water. Air is my incense. And then also this is air. This is representing air and earth. The Buddha, of course, is earth. So I got all four elements up here. All right, spirits, give me some clarity on Ten of Pentacles. It does help keep me grounded when I'm doing readings. See that? You have been, I feel as though you've had setbacks in your love life. It has to do with generational things. It has to do with your father. Um, Two of Pentacles, again, is representing um, fluctuations, juggling, um, feeling as though you're you know, you were trying to do, you were trying to two, you were trying to please two different things and you can't do that. It's, it's all about your spiritual path. Let me ask spirit, what is this King of Wands talking about? Yeah. Kundalini discovery. So I feel as though this week, you know, you are going to say, Hey, I'm done. I'm through. I'm out. Okay. You're holding me back in my relationship and you're going to no longer juggle whatever that is. So it's, it's just, it's, it's creating problems in your, your home environment. Okay. Especially if you're a teenager and you live with your parents and you got some crapola going on on the outside. Uh, that's why your parents will sometimes try to choose your friends <laughs> and they'll tell you, I don't want this person in my house and see with the shadow side, you've got some bad things around you, Leo. Um, in the past, the Ace of Pentacles comes up. So I do feel as though you got some kind of financial reward or maybe some kind of, uh, you may have purchased something. Maybe you reach some kind of level of status at work. Your outcome card is the will of the year. So this is a beautiful card for you to get this things. This means that this week things are changing. <clears throat> I'm going to put some cards around that wheel. feel like you may have recently got a new job, maybe, but something's going on. I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some clarity in the recent to distant past, but I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some clarity on this will of the year. For the Leos, okay. The, the Karma card, Justice, Three of Wands, Ten of Cups. Okay, so this Three of Wands comes up. See, this is representing the presence of a third party. Okay, this is what you need to pay attention to. This is something that is beneath you. It's sort of hidden. Okay, there's a third element. but And this is kind of, you know, what's above and so below. 
So karma comes up. So, you know, spirits are sort of uh, working that out for you. I do see at the end of this cycle, you got the Ten of Cups, Leo. So I feel like if you have any legal issues that you're sort of obsessing over, I do feel as though they will be resolved. Legal issues is a sign that you've got some bad energy around you. So you need to get, yeah, some bad energy. And the spirits is saying that they're trying to change that, you know. All right, I'm going to throw a final advice card at this Three of Wands. What do you want Leos to know as final advice for the week? Okay, the Three of Pentacles. So that's a beautiful card. I feel as though it represents alchemy. It represents, you know, this energy right here, this divide and conquer. You can't really change it. You can only get on top of it and then change your reaction to it. So the energy is going to come in. You know, karma card could represent your past life. It is the judgment card, which is past life. So we can see that with the justice card, you are dealing with some energies that are sort of, if it's from your past life, sometimes you, again, I do feel as though, you know, um, it's not necessarily you, Leo, but it's possibly the, the company that you keep in this lifetime. If you got some bad karma from the previous lifetime, they don't have the right to, you know, so this justice card, again, with the Ten of Cups coming up, I feel I see a good outcome for you, okay? If you need any private spiritual guidance, the link to my website is below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Namaste.